Der Fotograf ist ein Jäger nach guten Bildern. A photographer is someone who is on the hunt for good images. Of course, it's also a great satisfaction to be in the middle of nature. I'm not an office person, even though I was a teacher for some years. But my yearning for the great outdoors is really much, much stronger. I took guests with me on my first journey. We didn't know if we would see the northern lights at all. Chances were about 10%. And we barely saw anything on the first night. After 30 seconds of exposure time, you could only see a green shimmer. The second night was different. After two hours of waiting in the freezing cold, we saw a green streak on the horizon. That was our polar light. That's all we saw. But it was dreamlike. There's a huge difference compared to seven years ago. Nowadays, you can expose for two seconds and get fantastic images with your camera. You even see the magnetic lines in the sky. Before, all you could see were these green areas because of the long exposure time. The stars are crystal clear. You can see the Milky Way and the northern lights in between. And the surroundings look simply gorgeous. Camera technology has progressed enormously in recent years. When you photograph the northern lights, you can really make the most of those new possibilities. When you look up into a corona, an explosion directly above you in the sky, that's what it feels like, like as if the sky were falling down on your head. Some people are completely flabbergasted when they see the northern lights for the first time. Others scream with joy. Some people were even crying for joy and forgot to take pictures. A good preparation is essential for capturing the northern lights. You need to choose a good location, check the weather forecast, you need the right gear, first of all, proper shoes, warm clothing, a headlight, gloves, and so on. Camera-wise, if you want to get really good pictures, don't bring your digital camera from 10 years ago. You're just so much better off with the latest digital SLRs. The ISO speeds are much higher, you don't get grainy pictures, the lenses are much better than 10 years ago, and the rest is just a matter of proper settings. The northern lights have a natural cycle of about 11 years. Every 11 years there is a peak in polar light activity. We've seen polar lights that lasted for just five minutes, others that would illuminate the sky for a full eight hours. And you never forget the place where you saw your first polar light, even if it was a faint one, it stays with you.